Hey, who's on? Say hello so we know who's on. Hi, Doris. How are you? Hi, Jamie. Welcome. We'll give it a few more minutes, see if anybody else comes on. I did, at the beginning of the comments, list my, um, the first link is to my bot to be notified about my lives, my Etsy shop, and my YouTube channel. So, and I have my phone rubber band on here so it doesn't fall off because it has a habit of doing that, popping off during the live. So, feel free to like and share. So, where are you from, Jamie and Doris? Can everybody hear me okay? Say hello if you just turned on, you tuned in. Ugh, tongue tied. going to be doing a grapevine wreath tonight. Hi, Nanny Dot. Hi, Nicole. Oh, Jamie's from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Well, welcome. Are there any cubbies on here from Lori's group or from the Soul Sisters? We did find out that my, um, my computer was not hooking up to everybody with my lives. So if you aren't getting live notices, then click on that first link and it'll tell you to hit get started and then it should work because people are saying it's working, but they're not in my uh, mini chat. So I don't know what the problem is. It's, it's, I'm technically challenged when it comes to all this stuff. So where, what's the weather like in Fort Wayne, Indiana? It got warm here today and the sun was out and that's, that was a big change. Who else is on? Hi, Belinda. Belinda's on. Yay. Belinda, are you getting updates when I go live? If not, there I did put a link on there. Hello. Well, 40 is not bad, I guess. <laughs> we hit like 60 and that was amazing. All right, we'll just give it a few more minutes, see if anybody else pops on, and then we'll get started. I made a sign with my, um, it's kind of like a, is that, where's that glare coming from? There we go. It says peep peep. I made this with my brother cut and scan, and it's kind of like um, the cricket. It was a challenge. This is the first time I've done a design with several colors in it, so. I think I like just the words better. <laughs> then we're going to be doing ruffles. We've got three colors here. Pink, yellow, and purple. And these are cut at 18 inches. Again, there we go. I know, right, Belinda? It was great. I have my um, phone rubber band to the holder so it doesn't pop off again during my live. The one night it popped off three times, so I'm trying to keep it up there. But then when I have it up there, I can't see everybody's comments. And then we're going to be working with a grapevine wreath. We're only going to put mesh on the one side. And then we have our little peeps. These are hard to find, and if you find them, grab them, because they won't be there when you go back. And then I made one Lisa bow, 
and we're going to make another one because we're going to put a bow at the top and at the bottom. Okay. And then I got a lot of stuff to add. Like I thought the bunnies would look cute with a little puffy tail on the end there. So looks like there's some more popping on. Say hello. So we know you're here. We're working with a grapevine wreath and a sign and some peeps. And we're going to do 18 inch ruffles. Let me pull you down so you can see what I'm doing. Can everybody hear okay? Hi, Gay from Wisconsin. What's the weather like out there? I love this snowball mesh. So we're just going to do a ruffle in every pipe cleaner here. Can everybody see okay? And can everybody hear okay? Was it cold? This was the first time, Gay, that we've had um, warm weather. And today it was sunny and warm. I'm going with the colors in the sign. I did that purposely to match the... Um, the peeps. And if you're not being notified of my lives, the beginning comment, the top link is goes directly to my bot and it will tell you to uh, hit it, hit get started and then you'll be notified. And there's also a link to my Etsy shop and also my new YouTube channel. Because I post everything up there after my lives, usually the next day. We're just doing mesh on one side of the, of the grapevine wreath. This is an oval grapevine wreath. I got this at Sims. So I only need nine of these ruffles. So if we get done our bow and we get it decorated on time, I got another surprise. I had such a tough time with these peeps. I had an idea in my head and it wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to. And then another idea popped in my head. You know how that is at four o'clock in the morning when you can't get to sleep. <laughs> That's when I get my best ideas. Well, I think they're my best ideas. Everybody else might not. <laughs> so do we have anybody on here that works, that likes to do wreaths? Anybody from Lori's group on here? Any of my cubbies? Maybe everybody is outside enjoying the warm weather in this area. Can you see it okay? I probably am not. There we go. Is that better? So, yellow. Everybody have a good weekend. Are you any on any groups, Gay? Or you just do it to craft?
How's everybody getting used to the time change? <laughs> oh, I started in the design group in January, and then um, March, um, the second week of March, I started on the business group. Are you with Lori, Jamie? I'm still muddling my way through it, so don't feel bad. <laughs> the mini chat has me trying to get everything um, working the way it's supposed to. I'm not having a lot of luck. So Lori said on the call last night, just copy the link and post it. I'm like, well, that works. Not yet, Jamie. You'll learn a lot on this group. There's a lot of talented people in our group that all do lives. Like, just go to one of Lori's hardworking mom's uh, YouTube videos and watch everybody that watches her. There's a lot of us on there. And then just hook up with their, their page. Say hello if you just joined us. Now, how is that? I got one extra on there. Well, could finish it off with a pink. Where's the rest of my pink? Put it back on the shelf. Again, we'll cut these at 18 inches. just started Jamie these mats come in handy they're great for measuring and working on I got mine on Amazon I noticed some of the craft stores carry them so if you have coupons that would be a good item to use it on okay All right, so basically, I'm getting tangled in my glue gun cord. Basically, I just alternated the colors. Okay. Now we're going to place our peeps. Now what I did with them, I just stuck some wire right through the back. Just poked it right through, and that'll hold it. And I'm going to do something different to my peeps if we're going to add a little tail. Because I think they need a little tail. And a little bow tie or a bow. It's always good to put a little black in your wreath. So that's what we're going to do. Um... I think we're going to start with the yellow one. So, sorry about this, Mr. Peep. And if you're just starting out, get some aloe from Target and stick it in a little glass bowl or by the pump and keep it by your hot glue gun. Because I got a second degree burn on three of my fingers the other week. So, you really need it close by. No. I think the yellow one is a little girl. So we're going to put a bow in her hair. And the purple one, he's going to be a boy. So we're going to give him a bow tie. Just personalize them a little bit. Ooh, 
come on. Doesn't that look cute? I raise Yorkies, so I make little um, top knot bows. So these are bows that I have in my collection of um, supplies to make little top knots. That one, Jamie, is a Dewalt, and it's from Amazon. And boy, does it get hot. Lori uses a glue pot. Um, she actually uses an electric frying pan as a glue pot, and she sets hers at 200. And she said at 200, you won't have those long strands, and you're less likely to burn yourself if you get some glue on yourself. Because she said, these get too hot. Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. Isn't it? All right, I think we'll start, let's see, I want to space these out. So if I start here, um, let me start this out on the yellow and then we'll start him out over here, but then that's going to end up, yeah, right there. How's it look so far? I have the wire through them, so I'm going to take the wire down through the grapevine. Belinda, I got my peeps at um, Walmart, and it was actually two weeks ago. This size is $2.98. It's about the size of my hand. They have smaller ones that are on keychains, and they were $1.98. I'm also told that uh, Party City has the bigger ones. Um... See, they all carry the little peep emblem on there. And I'm also told that you shouldn't, if you're advertising it, you really shouldn't advertise it as a peep because it's a trademark. So I was wrong there. All right, I'm going to twist this tie because I'm not going to be putting anything else here. So I'm going to twist it and trim it now before I put my bunny down. I probably could glue it to that, but I think I would feel better if it's secured to the wreath. Because um, I don't know whoever buys this, what kind of weather they have. And I really don't want, you know, if it's too hot, I really don't want it um, falling off as the glue heats outside in the weather. Now I'm trying to get it through an area, like on the inside. So I got some layers to go through here, so bear with me. And I always, when I'm done, I go back and I try to twist the wire tighter and tuck it back in, because I don't want anything scratching the door of the new owner that the new owner would have. You're welcome, Belinda. But sometimes it's difficult to get this through. I'm told if you use a quilter's um, needle, that helps you pull it through. Okay, got one through. pretty sturdy and it doesn't look like it's sandwiched down in there too far. Say hi if you just jumped on so we know you're here. 
We did 18 inch ruffles um, halfway around the wreath and now we're putting the peeps on. And we added a little tail and a bow for our peeps. Need to dress them up a little. And sometimes you gotta clip off some of this excess um, grapevine. Now because I'm putting him here, I'll twist this up and then trim it. So I don't have to worry about doing it after. Okay, get him down in here. For those just joining, we added wire to the back. I just poked it through. If you're jumping on, tell us where you're from. We don't bite. Hi, June. June's from Ohio. What's the weather like there? Nice today? trying to get this wire down through the grapevine. And it's creating a little bit of a challenge. There we go, one side. And if you want to subscribe to get live alerts, the first comment before the live there has the link right to my bot. If you just click on it, it'll ask you to get started, and you just click get started, and you're added. What'd they both do? They both came through the same hole. How does that happen? Only on a live. Hi, Norma. Hi, Teresa. Where y'all from? We're just trying to get the peeps on our wreath. And it's a little difficult trying to pull it through here. There we go. Now they're not in the same hole. Where'd it go? What's the weather like where you're from? What was it like in Texas today? I have a lot of friends in Texas. All over Texas. Okay, I want him to go this way. There we go. Hi, Mark. I'm sorry, now I'm going to have trouble pronouncing your name. Myrna. First time from Jersey. Woohoo! Welcome. Okay, we got two on. One more to go. Oh, yes. Yay! <laughs> Sometimes it can be challenging between my glasses and the computer because I can't read off of the phone because I have a rubber band around the phone trying to keep it on the stand so it doesn't pop off. Come on. It's like just about there. Come on. Hello.
Hello, Deborah. Anybody from Lori's group? If you're not, you need to check out some of her videos on YouTube. Her hardworking mom. Now see all this? I'm gonna trim some of this because we don't want it in our design. Not on the back. That'll scratch the person's door. There we go. All right. We got our peeps on. Then they can look cute with their little hair bows and bow tie. No, I used um, pipe cleaners. I just actually ran them through the the uh, grapevine wreath. See them? And tied it with that. And see, I went through the top of the grapevine wreath, so you can't see the pipe cleaners on the back. Gay, you're, you're from Lori's group? That's cool. Okay, now, what I did, have any of you used the uh, zip ties? Um, they're called zip cable tie adhesive mounts. There's a peel off um, piece of paper on the back and it's sticky, but I still add a little glue. And then it's very easy to stick a pipe cleaner or wire or whatever through here to attach. Now this is a little um, dense, so I'm probably going to have to use two pipe cleaners or two uh, zippy ties. I just find I can get a better grip. I better put it through the hole first. There we go. I got these on Amazon. It's like, I forget how much it is, but I think there's like a hundred ties in there. You probably could, Jamie. I just know they sell them on Amazon and that's where I got them. So, um, I, I meant to look at like Walmart or Lowe's or something like that when I went, but I never did. What do I got? A broken zip tie. Ha. Well, let's try this one. I'm putting it in the right way. No, I'm not. That way. <laughs> Newfangled stuff. All right. I'm going to trim this off first. So I've got to go tracking it down later. There we go. I'm using the black because I think the black will hide well in the in the brown. And I want to come down a little because I want to get this in the middle. And that looks like it's in the middle. Now let's get it attached. I find it hard sometimes. Hi Carla! Welcome! Carla's one of our cubbies. She made an awesome apple wreath. Okay, so that's one down. Now we got one more zip tie to go. Okay. I mounted the sign with the uh, zip tie mounts. I hot glued it on there. So 
sometimes you can't reach it, grab your pliers. That works. And the black really hides well in here. Come on. There we go. Now I got some funky branches here that are preventing that from laying flat. Something I can always go back and readjust. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to. There. Okay, so we got our peep sign. We got our sign on. Can we see the peeps? We did 18 inch ruffles. And I already made one bow that I want to put up here. And then I'm going to make another bow that I want to put down here. Hi, Thelma. The, the ruffles are 18 inches. How about that? <laughs> All right. So we're going to make another Lisa bow. And we're going to put the Lisa bow at the bottom. And then, geez, getting all this grapevine gook all over stuff. Then we're going to attach another one down here. And then I have um, carrots for our bunnies. And I also have a bunch of eggs to disperse throughout the wreath. So I think time-wise we're still good where we'll be able to do the other one I had planned. You're getting two for one deal tonight. How about that? What happened was I had a design chosen for the peeps and yet it just didn't sit right with me. And then four o'clock this morning, I came up with another design. So since I knew this wreath wouldn't take as long as a normal mesh wreath would, I thought, ha ha, we can do both. And it is also working with grapevine. Am I piquing your curiosity? Need to get a quilting needle. It'll go easier. Thank you, Norma. I got a crack thumb that every time it hits something, about go through the roof. So it's the scrape vine is really doing a number on it. <laughs> okay, so this would be the top. So that's it so far. This I made on my uh, brother cut and scan. It's like a cricket. All right. So we're going to put this aside and we're going to do a Lisa bow with the Easy Bow Maker. Okay. And I chose similar colors. For the second bow, but I'm adding a few um, different ones. Like I'm adding some green in there because this has the yellow, the pink, and the purple in it, but it also has like that turquoise. So I thought that would be a good one to add. And since I did the um, pink with the white polka dots, I thought I'd go with these three. 
Is it peak Jean? <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Yeah, this is an easy one. It's just working those pipe cleaners through the grapevine. All right. Have any of you, I know those on our group have, but just has, no, it's 18 inch mesh, Jean. Um, have any of you used an easy bow? We had Bo Sunday two Sundays ago, and they made a Lisa bow on there, and that's the first time I had ever made one, and I followed on my end. This is a good one to use your Michael or your Ace. I think they, yeah, I got this at Michael's. I used my 50% off coupon, and I think it was like $9. And because I teach classes here, I actually have four bow makers. Hi, Carol. Welcome. Okay. We're going to do a Lisa bow. So as I find which direction my thing is going here. And we're going to start out with, um, that one I think I did six. So we're going to start out with six. And then work our way down. Now, Lisa bow is two loops on one side and one loop on the other side with um, two tails. Yep, I have the Pro Bow. I also have the Bow Dabra, which if you'll see is all taped up because I sat on it. <laughs> so, and then there's one I found this week. Hold on, let me get it. There was a lady selling locally all her resupplies, and she only used this four times. And I'm not sure where she got it, but it's a lot nicer than the Bodabra because, I don't know if you can see it from here, it has the measurements on the side like the uh, Easy Bow does. And I never saw this one before. Now, I did look it up. She did, I think she did get this on Amazon. So... It's always nice, like I said, I usually do classes between four and six people, so it's nice to have another additional bow maker in the room. I should just put that right on there. Carol, did you give your bunnies to the kids? Carol made the cutest bunnies in class the other week. Actually, she came back and made a second one. Where am I at here? That's, that's too, too, too wide. There we go. Now I gotta follow through. There we go. Now we're back on track. I'll go ahead and dovetail these while it's on here. Now with the, this is different than the Pro Bow because you're starting from the bottom and you're working your way up. Oh, I'm glad they did. I actually had two more in class on Saturday. We had um, two making bunnies, two making the farmhouse wreath, and two making an Easter wreath, a mesh wreath. So class was really full on Saturday but they loved it. Everybody had a great time and their items turned out, oh. Well, we're gonna cheat and turn this around because I got it going the wrong way. There we go. Because I did the tails on this side, so I want the tails on this side this time.
Okay. Now we're back to the yellow polka dot. And you know what I did? I <laughs> I order, I've been ordering so much ribbon just to have ribbon in stock for the classes that the pink and white polka dot I, I ordered another roll of. So now I got two, two 50 yard rolls of that. And then the this one. So now I got two 50 yard rolls of the same thing I already bought. <sighs> I think I need to start a catalog system <laughs> and write everything down. So this one I'm going to back it down about an inch um, from six to about five. Got my tails on the right side. Twist, loop, twist, because I want the pretty side up. And then back down to here. Oh, that'll be nice. We actually, um, I actually took um, baking racks and I cut them down and made a frame for the, uh, the cross. And that's what we put our mesh on. All right. Now, I think I'm gonna go to this one next. And if you want to see that, Jean, I can always pull it out so you can see it. I got, my husband made me a beautiful wall of lattice, and now I'm able to display all the um, wreaths that I make ahead of time for the classes so everybody can just look at it and, and uh, figure it up from there. And Saturday's class... There's some that have been here quite a few times, and they're getting the hang of it. I wish they would uh, join one of the classes, because they really are talented. Okay. Two more. Sure. It was two in the middle, eight on this side, eight on this side, and as we pushed them on, it just made it fuller and fuller. And it was six inch mesh. And then we put a lily in the front. I always like to add pearls to stuff, so we put that on there and then we did a bow. But that was our cross. We've got ladybug classes and um, ladybug wreath classes and bumblebee ones coming up and I'm trying to think what else. Um, dog. Everybody wants to do a dog wreath. And see a lot of the people taking my classes are puppy parents of mine and I raise Yorkies. So we got Yorkie signs. Um, I got little... Uh, bones because we're going to add the dog's name to the bone with my scanning cut. Oh, that sounds pretty. This is why I already went ahead and made one bow because I didn't want to drag you through 
two. There we go. One more. I buy a lot of my ribbon from Sims, and I buy a lot in the 25, um, or the 50. It's more economical that way, and because we're using a lot in class, it's just nice to have that kind of, that quantity. what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to use a zip tie on this and then put my wire through the zip tie. Pull it up. I'm just going to tighten it a little so I can get my wire through there. Where's my silver wire? There we go. There we go. And I have a hard time gripping stuff sometimes, so a lot of times I'll just use my my pliers. Hi Marty. I think Marty has taken like <laughs> four or five of my classes. She's doing an awesome job. She brought her sister with her on Saturday for the first time. Mart, we did it on a grapevine wreath. We're not done yet, but here's where we are so far. We only put mesh on half, half the side, 18 inches, and did the ruffle. See all the little peeps? Now we're decorate. We're doing the second bow, and then uh, we're going to put some eggs on it and some carrots. And because we're still looking good on time. I think you guys are going to get a two for tonight. Two for one. This is my fluff box that my husband made me for Christmas. All right, now we're working from the bottom up, so we want to see if I got this right. Nope, the pink was on the bottom. So, the way I was taught was let's pull this out of the way. There we go. Head, two arms, one on either side, and then two legs. Then on this side we have a head. Where's the other one? Two arms and two legs. There's one leg, there's the other leg. Then our next layer was the yellow. So I'm trying to alternate them so we don't have everything going in the same direction. And when I'm fluffing, I have a hard time talking. <laughs> I can't walk and chew gum at the same time either. <laughs> there we go. That's getting there. I'm usually just used to doing like four. So two wides and two narrows. But I really love the Lisa bow, how it comes out just has such um, height to it and so many colors.
Thanks, Mark. It's funny, you got some ribbon that's really tight and then some ribbon that's like really loose. Let's see. Let's get this over here. See, we got all our colors in there. All right. Okay. Get this out of the way. Move this out of the way. And then I'm going to put this one right down here. my wire. I spend so much time fluffing. It's got to look just right. And this has got to get up here so we can see that. Tell me what you think. Does it need some carrots on here? Can you see the carrots? And we have some sparkly tiny eggs that we could put inside the bow. Um, I have some other eggs and I have some bigger eggs. Thank you. Yes, Gwen, the peeps are from Walmart. These were the 298 size. And and these were the dollar ninety-eight size, the little keychains. And they also had the real big eggs, and these were from Target. These were in the dollar section at Target. Little carrots. I think they're too big for that, though. So what do you think? Some big eggs in between? Like down in here? Put a big yellow one. Um, put a pink one down here, right there, put a purple one, put that on this side maybe, I don't know why they made these eggs and then they put holes in the top, they don't need holes in the top, what do you think, and then a carrot? That's what I was just thinking, too. What do you think? Okay. 
or do you think one out, or the three? Yeah, they do have it on the back. How's that look? Yes to the eggs, Jean? Or do a big one and a little one? One carrot patty, like right there. Let's put a carrot on their belly. I had three carrots. There's gotta be another one floating around here somewhere. There it is. I even have smaller eggs yet. Can't see it, Marty? How's that? Yeah, it does, doesn't it, Jean? I mean, I think, you know, I could even put this, I think a carrot looks better on their belly. What do you think? Perfect? Yeah. I know, I know, um, and I have some bigger eggs too, but I've got all sparkles on those eggs, so I don't know if I want to add some that don't have sparkles on it. I could. Thank you. I'll go through and I'll glue all these down later because I, I do like where they are. Maybe. No, I like it better there. Like right there below the bow. But maybe I ought to swap this out for a pink one. There. How's that look? Can you all see it okay? No, I don't have any grass. I do have some tubing. I have a white, um, thank you. I have a white, I have a pink, um, I got yellow, blue, green, pink, no uh, purple or lavender, but I could go in and mix some of that in there too. I think that would, um, that would really look nice. Or just go all with all the white. What do you think? Thank you. Does it help if I pull it down a little more like that? I could even go through and add just a few tiny ones here or there. Okay, I think we're good. I may go back and add some tubing, the green. Would make it look like it's got Easter grass in there, wouldn't it? Above the sign? All right, so what if I, uh, what if I did a few of these? Like, 
put a few of these above and put the, the eggs behind it. You know what I mean? Like that. Think, Jean? Let me see. There is green on the sign, so... I'll go back and add some of that. Thank you. All right, I'm going to pull this aside and we're going to go on to the next one. I'll add some tubing around the sign and let me get that all spruced up. All right. All right, this is what I was originally going to do with the peeps, and then I decided not to. Okay, so I got all these little um, bunny head things here. And then what we're going to do, I didn't glue these down yet. This is actually just a stick, and I have three grapevines here, and they're attached. Okay. drilled holes through the back and I attached them on the back to hold them in place and now I'm going to glue these in the middle okay and then let me just go ahead and glue them down let's just go ahead and start and this also is going to get a bow at, at the bottom and a bow at the top using almost the same colors as in the other one okay just going to glue this right down to the wood. These are four inch um, bunny tails that I got at AC Moore. Thank you. I, my family never watches my lives, so I think this is going to go to my grandkids. I have three grandchildren from, that are in the same family, the twins and their sister. So I thought this would be a cute thing for them to hang up as an Easter decoration, something that Mama made for them. And I don't get to see them very often because they don't live close by, but... All right, then we've got whiskers and a nose little pink pom-poms and then we got wiggly eyes which we got glue on a wiggly eye all right so we want to put the eyes on first and we put the wrong glue stick in here because now I'm getting yellow glue. And they're static, so everything's sticking to them. Isn't that cute? And then we got our little whiskers. That's too long. I'm going to curl them back up again and make them smaller. Oh, thanks. And then the nose is going to fit right over top of that. Yes, we found the eyes, Jean. We had searched and searched and searched during class for those eyes, for those to use on their bunny, and we could not find them. And 
I ended up taking them off of mine to give to Addison. And then I have Shuri's sitting here for when I see her. Doesn't he look cute? They were in a box that we moved off the top of that uh, storage area and they were right there all the time. All right, do our eyes. Now he's gonna go over here. Yep, that's what it is, Jean. Do the shake test. Make sure nothing comes off. And then I thought it would even be cute to stick the carrot right at their, you know, where their mouth is. What do you think? So it looks like they're eating a carrot. Let's see this one. What do you think so far? Yes, the carrot, new to the carrot. Carrot, yes? Okay. These carrots are from the Dollar Tree. I order a lot of my stuff in bulk because they never have it in there when you're looking for it. So. I thought they'll get a kick out of these. And I haven't secured the bunny ears. They're kind of just resting on there. So if they wanted to take the bunny ears off and play with it, they could. Okay, now you guys are gonna help me build a bow. So, what color do we want to go with? And do we just want to go with one, or do we want to go with two? Because I can cut off the bottom. I could even put a sign here and put their names on the sign, or put the bow at the bottom and put a sign up top. 
What are your thoughts? Doesn't that look cute though? I think they're gonna love that. Especially because the eyes are wiggly. They can take these off and play with them if they want. I know, right? Well, I've seen people making like grapevine uh, rabbits and they're using the grapevine as the body and they are putting these on the head. Bow at the bottom, names at the top. Or, okay, wait a minute. Um, or, I made a couple of these. Nah, I don't know that that looks good on the bottom. I could change up the bow. What do you think? Or I don't have any more. Let me see. left of this but that kind of hides it it could be put down at the bottom and then a bow at the top what do you think better what the signs too big no no sign <laughs> I could make something smaller like the peep sign and put Happy Easter from the Winugas because that's her last name. Or put the Winuga, Winuga, um, not peeps because they're not chicken. Well, peeps are way too big. Carrots too big. The sign's too big or the carrots too big. Carrots too big. Way too big. All right. Um, that. Because I can cut off some of the bottom of the sign. Both are too big. Okay. What does that sign look like there? Or would that look better just up here? And then a ribbon down at the end. Well, thanks, Jean. got to come to one of the classes, Jean. How does that sign look at the top? You got a glare? You like that? I have even some eggs. from the sign, there are two of them. Well, they were around here somewhere. They were flat. Maybe it would look good to stick a bunch of those on because they'd be colorful to catch the kids' eyes.
that at the top and then put like a few of these at the bottom. What's that look like? So a bow at the top then and maybe leave those two eggs at the bottom. Okay, we'll make a bow. And let's see. Um, I think we'll do. I think we'll do the pro bow this time. All right, what colors do I need? I think pink would be a good one. What if I threw some orange in there? How about, um, these, um, I love this green splash one. What do you think about that one? And I have some left of this. And that has the orange and the green in it. No sign, just a bow at the top. Yep. Okay, I think I'll go with those three. And then we need... Um, we need another wide one. So... Let's see... I got it. What do you think of those? Or instead of that one, what do you think of those for? Do you like those for? Or too much orange and then we add pink and green. Or I think these four. What do you think? Think those? Light pink? Instead of what? Instead of this one? I have a light pink polka dot one. Or nope. What do you think of those for? Because this has got all your colors in it. This has got it in it. That. The last green was too dark. Okay. Then that doesn't go with that. that one where there's even this one you like the polka dots you mean this polka dot
This pulls the pink out of the... Let's go with those four. What do you think? All right. We'll just do these four. If it doesn't look good, we'll... Or we can change out that one. What kind of class are you doing, Jean? Or is that for the crosses? Oh, you're mailing. Making tempos. <laughs> oh, for the twig crosses. You'll have to post a picture after they're done. I'd love to see that one. Yes, I do. I can.
can do them by hand. I can do them in the Easy Bow. I can do them in the Bow Dabra. I can do them by hand. Um, if I do them by hand, I'll use the Bow Dabra to put them down in, to hold them in place as I layer. Oh, came undone. Got to tighten it up a little more. That last layer came out. Jean, they don't have an idea of how much time it takes, how much the materials are. That's just plain rude. But, hey, Marketplace is kind of like a garage sale, so they think they can, um, you know, get you down. And that's, it's just, that's a shame. In fact, there's a lot of times I'm on Marketplace and I'll see someone's wreath and I will comment on how beautiful it is and I will tell them they're not charging enough because people just don't have a clue of how much the materials cost. It's a shame. That's why, you know... Um, Amazon now has um, Amazon Handmade, and people are doing pretty good on there with the wreaths. So, I signed up, but I haven't put anything on yet. 
there's still some stuff I have to figure out on on the listings so I got a little ways to go yet but no they don't have any clue that's why I think these lives I wish some of them would watch a live and see a, a wreath made so they could see how long it takes I know, right? Okay, bow at the top. Oh, thank you. I think maybe the bow at the top and maybe the a bow at the bottom. If I add this, I think I'm bringing in some other elements and or one other idea. I could just do a bunch of eggs down at the bottom. What do you think? Sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you want to see it at the bottom is what you're saying. You want to see this at the bottom. Because I can, I can shorten the sign. So you think the bow at the bottom, and then maybe cut the sign at the top. You see what I'm saying? If I cut it up here, made it shorter. Bow on top. Okay, so we're talking bow at the top and I could just do some some tails at the bottom. You know what I mean? Perfect. So bow at the top and cut off the bottom. Or Wait a minute. Well, we used the last of that. That's good. What if I cut the bottom, but just left a bow, just a simple, simple bow at the bottom? Easter grass. I think simple bow at the bottom and cut it. And what if I just lay one egg in the tail at the bottom? 
and then cut off the rest of the stick and then put the bow at the top. Yep, lost a bunny ear. I think, I think so. I think the simple bow at the bottom, I could like, um, let's see, I thought I had a small piece cut, yeah. What if I just did, this at the bottom, or I'll use the green, the green, um, Try a green egg. Okay. Can you see that? Yes, you can. But it looks blue. And it's, no. Okay. There we go. Green egg at the bottom. With a little bit of mesh tubing under, laying underneath it. Orange egg. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I got it. I got it, I got it. Okay, orange egg at the bottom. And then I'll put a little bit of the green deco mesh under it. So I'm actually pulling the green and orange out of the ribbon. What do you think? And then this at the top. I think that I think that works because it's pulling the orange out of here. There's actually little orange and green carrots on here. So plus the bunnies. So we got the carrot, the bunny, and you know, winner. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> what a collaboration! That was awesome. I love it. I think it's perfect. <laughs> I like that, Jean. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think we're good now. And look at that. You got a two-for-one deal. And we did it all in an hour and a half. I think that's pretty good. Well, thanks, Jean. Feel free to share and like. And uh, like I said, the first comment in the comments has the link to my Etsy shop, has the link to my my bot, so you get notified of every um, um, time I go live. I was telling people in the past to, you know, to type in live, but for some reason the um, the bot wasn't recognizing it. So. If you could go on there and click on that link and then just um, type in, um, I think it asks you get started and you just click on get started. Well, thank you. Yeah, the more people you can share, the better off I'm going to be. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm aiming towards... The business end of this, um, this is something I've done for a long, 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 long time. So now it's time to take it to the next level. I know they will. I won't be seeing them till April. It's my granddaughter's fifth birthday this Sunday, but they've decided to 
have a class with her gymnast or have a party with her gymnastics class. So um, they're going to have a, a lunch sometime in April to celebrate her birthday. So I won't get to see her till then. Now I can't see a thing. <laughs> well, thank you. Thanks, Marty. And I think I'm taking Saturday off. Um, so there won't be any classes this Saturday because I've got to get my taxes done. So um, we'll go ahead and I'll schedule some more classes for the next week. And uh, hope to see you soon. It's telling me my battery's running low. And it's plugged in. So how could that be? I don't know. All right, guys. Go get some sleep. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And... Look for me again next Monday. I'm going to try and do this every Monday. Okay? Thanks for your support. I enjoyed meeting all of you. Have a good night. Bye.